Leisure Center came alive to celebrate the festival of lights in which Hindus light candles, pray, dance in devotion and celebrate Diwali. Over 2,500 students dance to the voices of folk singers and beats of live traditional instruments. Aside from the loud music, a variety of Indian street foods, both sweet and savory, were on sale. In essence, Diwali marks the victory of good over evil and is the most colorful festival in India. So one of our other aims is not only to say Hindu, 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 we want to work together, we want to have interfaith events. We want to bring everyone together and realize this vision of Vasudeva Kutumbakam, which is a fundamental Hindu principle that stands for the whole world as one family. Um, when we worship Matakali, where uh, we, have, we eat certain um, Indian sweets and we make loads of different food. Um, the third day, which is Diwali, that is the festival of lights, that's where we do fireworks. Um, in some cultures they meet their family and friends during that day. You go to the temple, um, do fireworks in the evening. International students felt at home with the Diwali festivities organized by the National Hindu Students Forum. So being an international student can be slightly tough because you know you're missing home and I am very far from home. It takes me a day to get home. So I don't fly home often. So festivities like Navaratri, Diwali are times when I miss my family a lot. We are able to celebrate these festivities with a lot of um, culture and with a lot of variety and love diversity through dance, through a lot of food and through just a lot of celebration and fun. And so this Navaratri and this Diwali has been amazing. A glimpse of the London's own Diwali festival that brings students from all over the world to celebrate the biggest date on the Hindu calendar, a night filled with festivities, lights and celebration of the Hindu culture. London, a home away from home. Shiksha Aurora, Westminster News.